It's Bourbonite Live. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. How's it going, everyone? How, well, how are you, Sarah? I'm doing great because, Good. one, I got to be on the Bourbon Women live stream last night. Right. Two, we did an Instagram live stream last night. And three, we had 60,000 followers yesterday, or subscribers yesterday Wow. Uh, on YouTube. So I'm Ooh. having a great time. That is a great time. And four, we're about to do Bardstown tasting, right. which is always a good I, time. I do enjoy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm great. I don't know why I went Scottish there. I don't know. It's, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's <laughs> Scottish, but also with a layer of something else in there. Well, I think it's like movie Scottish. It's like movie Scottish. I'm yeah. doing great. How about you? It almost is like also something from, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of got a Lord of the Rings vibe to it or something. <laughs> Second breakfast. Twice removed on my mother's side. Yeah, it feels very much like that. But what about second breakfast? Mm -hmm. That's how it feels. Afternoon like. tea? Yeah. Um, how's it going, everyone? Um, yeah, we are doing Bardstown Bourbon Company finished stuff specifically, but in our, you know, our pour here for when crazy people like Don Nishida drop... Oh. I'll get it. Okay. Drop Thank a you. Uh, super chat like that. We won't have but, something ready, but we didn't have but the, I wasn't the prepared. cowbell ready. I was not prepared for that, Don. Wow. Thank you. I'm so excited. $60 for the 60K. Thank you. He says, congrats on hitting 60K on to 100K. Yes. Oh, I can't imagine. It's, it's crazy. What's happening? You get a triangle cheers for that. All the way in Hawaii. 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 Hopefully, Thank you, Don. we'll get to see you sometime next year. Yes. That would be nice. So yeah, right now, did you sell them? We're drinking the Discovery series right now. Didn't didn't sell them that. Did not tell them. So we do have a full bottle of Discovery. This is batch number one. Um, we got this sampler a while back. It was like a press sampler or something mm -hmm. like that. And so instead of drinking out of our full bottle, we're like, well, we might as well just polish off some of these little bottles. That's right. Um, but yeah, why not? Which is what we will also be doing if we if drink we... the Pfeiffer... That you did so good. Pfeiffer, Pfeiffer Pavit. Pfeiffer Pavit. Or Pave. I don't know how you say it. Pavit. There's no little uh, accent mark. So Pfeiffer Pavit? I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, in fact, we have a... Uh, would you say we have a prefula of Barstown Bourbon Company whiskeys? No, I would say we have a plethora. That's what I said. A prefula? Pre you said prefula. Prefula. I was just trying to roll my R. Plethora. A plethora. Would you say we have a plethora? A Barstown Bourbon Company. I would say that. Finished. I would. See yeah. Guapo. You haven't seen that movie. She hasn't seen the movie, everybody. I don't know what he's talking about. Well, Brian Brennicky obviously knows because he just gave us a equally monstrative super chat in celebration of our 60K. If you would uh, like to do your breast, your breast. <laughs> Freudian. You are making up words over here. I think I've heard three made up words in the past one minute. Your best Brian Brinicky. When you say trying to say best Brian Brinicky, it comes out breast. What does that mean? Uh read a super chat. Oh, well, I'm not gonna like imitate him, but I will read a super chat. Okay. Uh milestone, well deserved, and cheers to many more milestones in your future. Well, thank thank you. you so much, Brian. And I'm sure Tammy. And Tammy. Who we will hopefully also see soon. Okay, so if you're new to the channel and you're like, man, do these people just jaw all night? Well, yeah, we do. But also, if you would like to... They're already gone. Those people yeah. are already gone. If you'd like to skip around, if you're watching the replay to specific times we're tasting, um, there are chapter markers down there that you can easily do that in you're your, in your that. scroll bar. You might want to do that. But what I was going to say is, since we have a prefera of choices, uh, I put them down in the episode's description. There's a lot of them. There's a lot. They're all behind us here. So if- All but one. <laughs> yeah, all but one. Wah, the wah. elusive- uh, uh, The Armagnac, Armagnac finish. It's a- uh, yeah. Oh, Ashley and Scott were talking about it in the chat earlier, but I can't remember exactly the name because I don't think I can say the name. Um, but I do know that it's the Armagnac finish. Um, we got to have a taste of that from uh, Dan, yep. Danny Bardstown, Danny uh, on Bardstown. Instagram. Yep. And he gave us a taste. We were there last month in our Bardstown overview of what it's like out there right now. And mm -hmm. he was like, "Well, we don't have any more of these for sale, but here's a little taste." And I was like, "Why would you give? Why would you give this <laughs> to me? Why would you torture? Now us? this is what I want. It's very nice of you, but also how? But how, also why? How dare you? Chateau de 
Labad. Labad? Chateau Le Labat. Le... Le... <laughs> oh God. As long as you do that. You're as fine. long as you do this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. Actually, it's French. That's more of an Italian thing. I, 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 I... Stereotypically, again. I'm not as cultured as you have. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm only cultured as far as like what movies tell me or TV oh. shows. Yeah. Well, but... I've never been to Europe, so I don't know. I can't I pretend. So I go. know. That's why I said you're more cultured than me. Yeah. Uh, Does it show? <laughs> <laughs> no. Patrick, thank you. He said six dollars is more in my budget. Well, <laughs> you kids are great. Thank you, Patrick. Hey, any any bit is appreciated. Thank we, you much. Yes, we love it. So, I, I think, um, and first of all, it's great to see so many uh, so many people here. We've got um, we've got Swan here. Swan, there's a Swan appearance. There's a Swan. Uh, also. A Swan sighting. The the wrench Captain Trev Wilson is here as always, Trev which is wrench. which is great. Uh, <laughs> Ty Koopa, Joseph Brezo, a lot yeah. of Robot Scott. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just reading names. Mm -hmm. Wheels. Yep. Now anyone that you don't read is going to be offended. <laughs> well, that that's you... going to be like 280 80s. people. Yeah. Uh, maybe we should just go like as far back, like our first finished um, uh, Bartstown Bourbon Company. Okay. And we start should do there, that. Which would be the Pfeiffer. The Pfeiffer. But but real quick before we move on and well okay first <laughs> I feel like we should talk about the whiskey but more importantly Glenn and Kathy golf whiskey thank you very much congrats on 60k been here since 14k gosh it's been That's so a long time ago yet also not that long but uh, it's been a, you've been ago. with us for a while yeah uh, keep up the great work thank you thank you and JG. Uh, with the six dollar super chat says, I found an Elijah Craig barrel proof C919. Ooh. Was that your favorite from last year? Whiskey cheers. Congratulations on 60K. Thank you. I believe it was. I think we were split. I think between we, the B and the, the C. And, the C. Mm -hmm. and I think, oh gosh, now I'd have to go back and watch our um, best of 2019 uh, to see which one ended up in there. It was either the B or the C, and we blinded them, and I think. Maybe it was the C. I want to say it was the C. I think which it was, was the C. Odd because it was the lowest proof, and I think everyone and we were like oh. everyone was on the B train. <laughs> yes, and okay. I think we we're like, but you know what? There's just something nope. about this. We're lying, uh, John F F Farron. I mean, you guys would know Farron? better. Farron. No, I don't know. Says B five one nine one. Huh. Well, was that the I lowest proof? I bought multiple proof? bottles. He was says. that the lowest proof one? I seem like I remember us picking the. The lowest proof. C was, C was the 136. Okay, so it was so between the B and the C. So we must have gone with the B, even though everyone else liked the C. I think we went the with C. the one that was like closer to like 130. Uh, mm -hmm. But JG, 877 Mash now. Thank you for that. And Michelle. And then Michelle. Wow, it's going to be a night of triangle cheers. I don't Thank mind you it. so much. $26. I love the keeping with the six thing. <laughs> yeah. um, great job, Sarah, on Bourbon Women Sip Summer Series. That is a mouthful. And congrats to you both on 60K. Thank you. She did do You did a great job. <sighs> Thank you. But I, you know, I'm just used to having Chad be my, we're, we like to ping pong back and forth the conversation. Not that I didn't have a great time. I had an awesome time. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. If I'm not talking to you on a video, I'd like to be talking to Peggy. Sure. Or Fred. That's fine. <laughs> that would be great, too. No, that's fine. Um, no, they did an awesome job, though. The Q&A was fun. She asked some hard questions. I was like, oh, I don't know the answer to this off the top of my head. <laughs> but back to our best of 2019, just for a second. This Discovery series, which we're drinking. Yeah. A sip. I mean, it's so good. It, like... People will be like, but the price point. I'm like, yeah, but this is one of those things that I think meets expectations as far as when yeah. you're spending. And I love that they're transparent mm -hmm. as they can be on the label with the percentages. And if you know enough and do your homework, you can make an educated guess as to what the blend is. Exactly. Um, but yeah, the Discovery Series number one made it into our you know top 20 of 2019. We've got the number two. I think it was top 10. I think it was top 10 as well. Yeah. Um, we've got the Discovery Series batch two that we need to uncork, so that'll be coming soon. Mm -hmm. And then I heard batch three is out there too, somewhere. Haven't seen it. Danny Barstown, um, yeah, he was, he was saying that it's fantastic. I would like to try that. Oh, are we drinking? Oh, I see. I see what you did there, Chad. Yeah. Just for visual aid. Visual aid purposes. There is a hair in mine. Probably, uh, probably yours. I'm wearing a hairnet. It's a non-identifiable hair, so I'm gonna skip that. I'm just gonna quickly 
Fair it enough. Was like, if, it's from the press kit. It's okay. If it's mine, I'll be like, well, it was pro may have already been in the glass. It, no. You know, things float around. Particulates. If it had been my hair, I'd we be like, We store our glasses upside down, though. I know, so I don't know. It must have just floated in there. Mm. Probably from the dog. Mm. Blame uh, it on the dog. Uh, I don't know, and I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not into it. <laughs> so, it's fine. Okay. Um, Here's the breakdown of the Pfeiffer Pavit. Give so, us the breakdown. Yeah, I do think this was the first uh, finished one that we ever bought from Barstown. So this is finished bourbon whiskey, or sorry, straight bourbon whiskey finished in Pfeiffer Pavit Cavan. I can't talk tonight. Cabernet, Ca Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon barrels. So uh, Pfeiffer Pavit is a wine out mm -hmm. there. Uh, California? That's can't a. I, I don't think so. I think Pfeiffer Pavit is uh, from across the pond, but I could be wrong. It sounds. Somebody help me. Actually, I know sounds, you know this. It sounds like it's not from around here. <laughs> not to put you on the spot or anything. Um, but my, my... being the one talking about the Armagnac <laughs> bottle, I feel like you right. might know. Um, well, let me read this little blurb and then we uh, see Doug there. I see you, Doug. Um, we work together, we bring out the best in each other, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Pfeiffer I think that sounded actually very heartwarming and sweet. How are you going to blah, blah, blah them? <laughs> yada, yada, yada. Oh, it uh, is California. Joseph Brazo says, okay, see, you're right, see. I'm wrong. The Barstown Bourbon Company in Pfeiffer Pavit Winery starts with exceptional nine-year-old Tennessee straight bourbon whiskey. Mm -hmm. Then we polish it for 18 months uh, in, in decadent Pfeiffer Pavit Reserve Cabernet barrels from Napa Valley. Mm. Voluptuous, succulent. Bold notes of plum, milk chocolate. Gosh, and, is this seducing us? And berries beg Ew, for another taste. I feel disgusting. Hold on, let me do that oh, like... I'm uncomfortable. So, no, stop, stop. <laughs> I think bold I'm notes of plums, milk chocolate, and blackberries beg for another taste. Sick. No, I, I mean, it's it's... I think it's hitting on us. It is what it is. Yeah. Is it hitting no, on us? I mean, I'm uh, not sure. you know, geez, okay. All right. Doug. Voluptuous, yeah. <laughs> Doug and Tony. Well, let's do it. And a two, Tony. A two tone triangle for Woo. you. Uh, Doug says, congrats on 60K. More triangle. You just got it. You got it. Thank you. Everybody go follow Doug. He knows all the things about the cheese and the honey. Cheese Taste and, and the sensibility. Honey. Yes. I Everything I know about honey, I learned from Doug. On the YouTubes. Um, and Tony says, you two set the standard for info, hosting things, and blaming the dog. <laughs> Congrats, Jet and Zero. Mm, Thank that's, you. That's, that's true. You guys got to see her uh, if you were on the Instagram live last night. Uh, too close, they said. Too yeah. Close. <laughs> if I was wearing headphones and that was in my ear, I don't know how I would feel. I had to do that, that close vocal uh, reading. Trev, um, Trev's feeling good about it. Good. Good, good. <laughs> okay, so let's be. I'm going to be honest. I don't know. I like cab, so I don't think mm. that's my problem with this one. And when I say problem, I would mean that of all the finished ones that I've had, I believe to memory that this one is my least favorite. You know, um, I, 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 I'm going to let you finish right now. Go ahead. I'm going to let you finish, but <laughs> no, there's no Beyonce should have won. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> But the prisoner is a better no. <laughs> In my opinion, of the wine finished ones, I prefer the prisoner. It has, I, I can't tell. I don't think it's the wine on this one. I think it might be the Tennessee, but I don't know. Okay, here's here's my thing. It's a little. I had forgotten that this was Tennessee, and it doesn't matter. Look, it doesn't matter. But Tennessee, if it's of if it's that age, nine years old, it's either probably gonna be George Dickel. Or um, Jack Daniels, mm -hmm. but Jack Daniels would never call herself bourbon. Right. So that ergo, this is Dickel. process of elimination. That weird, not weird to everyone, weird to us. Dickel flavor, also known as Flintstone vitamins. I didn't realize how no. sort of grape wine it it was until I had it with this, like you know, again. And kind of like, oh, I see. Like, yes, I can pick it you out can pick now. It out, I can pick it, it out. I think it But if marries. I didn't know that, it's like... It goes really well together. This is the best thing to do with it. Totally yeah. agree with you. Yeah, no, I like this. When I say my problem with this, again, I just... They have knocked it out of the park, in my opinion, with so many of the things that they've done so far. 
uh, as far as flavors and blending, mm -hmm. that for me, like anything that's not whoa is like, you know, I, it's by no means bad. I just don't, I don't know how to say what I want to say. It's by no means bad. It's a good quality product, but just of when they've got a line of stuff that I consider very delicious, if something is not, mm -hmm. which I think this is good, but not like the most delicious. Um, yeah, it's hard for me to want it. So I really, really like the prisoner though. Oh, they have a recipe for a cocktail Ooh, la, on the tag called the Moxie. Ooh, I don't know if I would use this in a cocktail. I know, that'd it's be pretty expensive cocktail. pretty brave. <laughs> Two ounces of the Piper Favit. I was so close. Uh, Three-fourths an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Three-fourths ounce simple syrup. And then half an ounce of the Pfeiffer Pavit Date Night Cabernet Sauvignon. Date Night, I'll say. Uh, I mean, listen, it'll still get the job done. <laughs> shake the first three ingredients with ice, strain over ice, and then top with a Pfeiffer Pavit Date Night Cabernet Sauvignon. So it's a little floater. Mm, I, that does sound I good. I don't know what Date Night from them is. Yeah, Date Night. It might be a syrup. Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a wine. Oh, a wine. Oh, yeah. well, it's another we can one of find wines. it. We can find it. Yeah, we can find Maybe it. Maybe we should do that sometime. Uh, Ashley says Ashley. it's because it's finished dickle juice. Right. Yep. We all we thank you, Ashley. Uh, not my favorite of their finishes. Congrats on 60k. Thank you, my Sounds like we're on the same page. Yeah. Tell you what, let's keep this in our glass. I would like and to go that. to the other Cabernet. Well, oh, we were gonna do. <laughs> we were gonna do this better. We had a plan. We did. Uh, <laughs> uh, where we were gonna try the wine finishes back to back. And we were going to only, because we have so many things to get through back here. Oh, right. We were going to try one versus one. Right, right. But we didn't do that. We didn't do it. So we here's what we're going to do. We're going to do it. We're going to pour the Pfeiffer in there, and we can do this because, you know, Mary doesn't matter if we share. We live together. Same house. Whatever. And I'm going to stand up again, so that means drink. Edward says Sarah doesn't do wine. Oh, that's not true. <laughs> I'm like, you who do. told you that? No, I do. Actually, if I'm not drinking bourbon, I will drink wine. Red wine only though. White wine, mm, I can't get into it. Even if it's hot outside, I still can't get into it. Which is why I have a problem day drinking in the summer because I don't like anything but bourbon and red wine. Some beers, but beer's not like me. I do want to also let you guys know that the t-shirt I'm wearing, you have seen this design before, but it is version 2.0. It is new and improved. Um, it is a now, as of, as of this afternoon, now on our site in replenished quantities, small through 4X. It's a different brand of shirt. This is the same brand that every other Whiskey Ambitions shirt is. Um, and it is a more bold print. Colors are a Poppin little colors. different here. So that's why we're calling it version 2.0. So go check it out if and you like. It's bourbon, the thirst mutilator. Uh, it's got electrolytes. It does have it's electrolytes. It's what plants crave. It's what Chad and Sarah crave. It's what Chad and Sarah crave, that's right. Um, okay, so now you have the Pfeiffer, I have the Prisoner, which is a little, I don't know, it's kind of more red, it's got more red in it. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I love that nose. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Trev. Trev put the uh, link in there to Whiskey Ambitions, that's where all, all of our stuff is. And Brian saying Idiocracy, the sequel. The yeah. sequel. Two, the sequel. The, yeah. the shirt, 2.0. Mm. Yeah. See, that one for me is, is just a really strong marriage of um, the whiskey and the wine, which this is made with straight bourbon whiskey distilled in Tennessee also. So that does not... Doesn't carry. Does not carry. Our What we just said is so true. It's, it's got to be the wine it's finish. Lie. It's the wine finish. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and probably the, the time, too, because when we talked to Danny, and I don't know for sure, I'm sure there's some info on here, about how long they rest it in the wine barrels, mm -hmm. it seems like it's different based on batches. Just they keep testing it like every day or every couple of days just to see, make sure it's at the right place when they pull it to be bottled. Um, this is so a, another Napa Valley. This may have gotten... Um, more time in the wine barrels. Well, it's, it gets another 18 months and it's also a nine year Tennessee. So this is, so they're both 18 months, nine year old Tennessee whiskey, 18 months in the wine barrels. So it's really just that wine barrel. 
Well, it makes damn. a difference. Everything I'm saying is untrue. So there you go. Just I, comes down to the wine. It but comes down to the wine. We both like that wine. We have that. We've had that wine before. Mm -hmm. um, it's more of a special occasion it's wine a special because occasion. <laughs> uh, it's, it's it's you know it's like forty. 45 to 50, 50, depending on where you get it. Yeah. Um, which, you know, for four we're gonna glasses. Spend that on, we're going to spend that on bourbon, let's right. be honest. Uh, yeah. When I buy wine, I try to stay in the under the $20 mark, unless right. it's a special occasion. Just because it's four glasses, you know. Yep. But I know that there are lots of great wines out there above that. Mm -hmm. uh, Jean de la Cuisine says, congrats on 60K, celebrating with you guys with some bookers. Thank you. Even, yes, even though you, you gave us the, the, the Mark of the Beast uh, super chat. It's for the 60th. <laughs> and it's in pounds, so. Yes, I'm sure it converts to a, a non-demonic. Yeah, sure. <laughs> non-demonic non uh, number. Number. Um, uh, John C. wants to know, have you tried Apothic Inferno aged in whiskey barrels? You know, yeah. we have. I have problems with some wine that's aged in whiskey barrels they're the most likely to give me a headache after one or two glasses i don't know why i'm wondering if it has something to do with the tannins but i've tried some different ones um a thousand stories is like the mm. only one that i found so far that is no headache afterwards because okay. um, I, yeah, I tried the robert mondavi barrel aged headache so yeah i don't know um you know what originally when i had these two just like you know, had this one first, and then whenever this one came out, I had that. I was like, no, I think I, I think I like the the Piper Favit the best, but I am now switching. Switching. And I think I like the Prisoner the best when I have them back to back. Yeah. I, I can't taste, and I know this is gonna make it sound bad, but I can't taste the Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Bourbon. Yeah. I can't taste the Dickel because I don't want it to sound like we're putting down Tennessee in right. general. Uh, I can't taste the Dickel. In the prisoner, you get that flavor profile that is so jumping out. There we go. Actually, is I guess the word would be lost in this, but in a good way. It's uh, or complemented in a way where it doesn't jut out. What's the word? Yeah, it's all very harmonious. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nothing being like blah. Yeah, uh, <laughs> blah. blah. It's not Dracula. So, it's not. Blah. Uh, so there we go. We now well, we know. Trev did the calculations. It's five sixty-four euro. Well, thank you. Well, look at that. <laughs> Oh, but now we have, it converts from the source himself saying it converts to 785. I'm going to have to take his word over uh, the wrench because he yeah. actually is there. He knows money um, of yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, we better move on because. We better move on. But not before. But not before. Joseph. Joseph. That's Joseph Maselli. That is. Because there's, no, yeah. It just that says, is. Joseph. He's like Cher or Beyonce. He's just Joseph. He's just Joseph. He's <laughs> he's the original Joseph. <laughs> he's, ooh, that was a loud one. Sorry about that. Uh, congrats on 60K. I've been here since 6K, and it is so true. Uh, I found bourbon and you guys at the same time. Let's just say the stars were, were aligned. All the best. Thank you That's so much. That's right. Yes, yes. I, I sometimes forget about that. But yeah, Joseph was just kind of like starting mm. uh, on bourbon and to see his collection grow oh, through his Instagram and uh, his selections that he has in the bottles um, he's doing it right he's doing it right thank you Joseph Joseph a throwback yep throwback um, <laughs> all right shall we move on because we've got we shall yeah let's move on because we got a lot of stuff uh, we do have one sample shout out so let's clear the table here and then we'll do that okay Okay, so um, David Lingswes Lingswesler. Sure. I hope I'm saying that correctly. You know me. I am terrible with names. Uh, but uh, he sent us some samples of Herman Marshall. So this is Herman Marshall Temptress, single malt 92 proof. We have a single malt 101 proof, which is, I love that proof. Uh, we have a rye single barrel that's 118. He also sent us a couple of the beers mm -hmm. that... Uh, uh, hold the name so we can have that as well. And then because for some reason I asked for it, Gypsum's Malort. Why? Because Would you ask for that? Well, I... Uh, you know what, Chad? Because I gotta get some more you Vegemite too. wanted it so bad, why don't you have that whole bottle to yourself? I will. Yeah. Not right now, but... No. I will. No. And then we do have a couple what's news. We do have some what's news. Uh, but thank you, David. We really appreciate it. Thank you, it. David. 
some what's news real quick. Real quick, real quick. So a couple years ago, the first time we went down to Austin for the uh, Whiskey Tribe, Whiskey Vault, Bastard's Ball, what else am I not saying? Um, we stopped at Still Austin uh, Distillery. You can see that in our very first video from then. Um, and we just took a tour and they weren't, they were distilling, but they hadn't bottled at that point. And so here They're we doing, are two years later. Gin, I think. Gin, gin and vodka. vodka. Uh, so here we are two years later and we've got the bottle. So yes. fun. So excited to get into that. Um, we, as we talked about, maybe a Texas whiskey day yeah. uh, next month. This is a bourbon review. You know the magazine. You know the site. Um, go go bourbon, right? Uh, this is their pick, single barrel uh, leader of Buffalo, Buffalo Trace, Trace, which is really awesome. Got that at Justin's House of Bourbon. You think it's going to be the new, like, this year's RC6 with the, like, uh, six-letter name that's, yeah. like, P... But it's not. This, it's is, not. <laughs> this is actually uh, a distillery exclusive. Um so this uh, normally comes right from the from the distillery. It's 110.3 proof. It's an MR13. Whatever that means. Denny Potter selected this himself. So glad to have that. Yeah, that'll be fun. And then lastly, we picked up a little 375 of the Whitford Five Wood. Yeah. So we got this from the Paddock Bar in Lexington. Um, they are located kind of adjacent to downtown mm -hmm. um and they just did a post on their facebook apparently they've been doing some bourbon releases as you know bars and restaurants are doing liquor sales now yep um to stay you know stay out there during weird rules pandemic time right and so we got a notification that they were selling some bottles on facebook and we went down and we snagged one of those so yeah. uh if you're interested in, in the area go follow them on facebook or instagram and, and it sounds like they do them pretty regularly so we'll Bang. probably be back down there yeah all right so we sh oh, you already, what happened? Okay, I'll just, put this aside. Yeah, I just set it aside. Just want to make sure I don't drink the one with the hair in it. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, do you want to do the Goodwood next, or do you want to do, ooh. Let's do these two Copper and Kings. So this one is okay. an uncorking straight bourbon whiskey finished in Spanish Oloroso sherry casks, which is a wine finish, mm -hmm. um, a Copper and Kings collab. Let's do it. And then we also have the Copper and Kings straight bourbon whiskey finished in Copper and Kings apple brandy barrels. So, Ooh. also an uncorking. Yes, two uncorkings, let's do it. If I can. Simultaneous uncorkings and um, then we'll get to these super chats. I don't know chats. about simultaneous because um, you might have to do that. And I'll read the super chats. Okay. Tony Bag of Donuts says, Chad, I have the two new shirts in my cart. I'm sending someone to negotiate. <laughs> I don't get it, but you do, so that's good. <laughs> Kilko says, congrats on 60K. I'm on the long climb to 1,000. Looking forward to more whiskey tube fun in the future. You know, that's right. when you, I just feel like it's one of those, you know, the snowball that it takes a while to get it rolling, but once it starts rolling, it kind of, the weight of itself picks helps. Up speed. It picks up speed, yeah. So hang in there. We'll get yeah, there. Do do him a favor. Uh, go to Kilko's go uh, YouTube channel. Give him a ah Ow. under the nail, under the nail poke. I got you. It's okay. Been there. Oh, oh. no, I don't have it. Okay. <laughs> I thought I had it. I didn't have it. Um, Having more trouble than Knob Creek. This one's hard. What do you need a pen? What do you need? This yeah. is not good TV. Um, this isn't TV. So, but yeah. Oh, I didn't do the. So I'll do it for both of us. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's see. Okay, and I missed Andrew. Uh, I don't know how to say your last name. I apologize about that. This is Happy 60K. Chug the Malort if you're in the real, it, like you're in the real land of Lincoln. <laughs> no. I cannot drink Malort. I can't do it. I can't do it. And Jeffrey says, I have the Fusion Number no. 2, the Prisoner Barrel Finish, Goodwood Walnut Barrel Finish, and the Copper and Kings Apple Brandy Barrel Finished Whiskeys. Bardstown Bourbon Company is magical. Very magical. I agree. He's going to get the knife. Or a box cutter. Or something. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I've been enjoying what they've been putting out and the little collaborations and the finishing projects that they're doing. So, I love the experimental nature. Uh, it'll be even better when we... Taste these. Yes. Oh, scary. God. Bring out the big guns. Don't cut you. Don't cut me. 
Come here, Mick. All right. Okay. So I'm going to have the Copper and Kings apple brandy barrel finished. And Chad will be having the Oloroso. Which, this isn't really a good one-to-one -one comparison. But I think we could talk about them and yeah. maybe think about this in comparison to the others since Oloroso is a sherry and... You already gave them the lowdown, right? I, I did. Yeah. Okay. I read the things. I did not read on the side. Well, let me read. Uh, so this is, um, okay, Barstown Bourbon Company with Copper and Kings, of course. American Brandy Company continues with a 12-year-old Indiana bourbon finished in the Spanish Oloroso sherry casks. Uh, then it gives the notes. We'll give you our own notes. Sure. Um, also a Copper and Kings, uh, Bartown Bourbon Company collab. Um, this American Apple Brandy finish, 11-year-old Indiana bourbon, so MGP, question mark, probably. Uh, polished in select apple brandy barrels, creates a perfect pairing of fruit, vanilla, and indulgent array of apples, caramel, and baking spices. Completes this rich, lightly dry, crisply complex one of a kind pour. Doesn't that just sound like fall? I would rather have this instead of pumpkin spice. <laughs> there you go. Can I get the apple? <laughs> well, this turned out to be a good match because they're both Indiana. Well, look at that. We so. didn't. We didn't even know. Yeah, twelve-year-old Indiana. Does this one have an age statement? Uh, eleven. Eleven. Okay. So, and then just so you guys know, we also have this very fancy um, Mistel barrel finish. It's a double barrel. Um, so they do it in the Copper and Kings Mistel barrels, then followed by new charred oak barrels. So, very fancy. So it's basically double oak. Um, it's a ten-year-old Indiana bourbon, finished in, uh, polished it in a mus muscat. Mistel barrels, um, and then yeah, so okay. this one well, was a pricey. Yes. Uh, and this one I think was a distillery only. But as they say, when in Bardstown. When in Bardstown. Yeah. Um, well, let's so do next ones... we'll dive into this one. It's yeah. kind of on a different price category, so it's not fun. Not fun. Not fair to compare. Oh, that's very desserty, like flambéed fruits and um, you know. Re yeah. Re reduction sauce and that type of biz. Did we get, did we miss anyone? Um, I don't know. I'll go back. I feel like we might have. Nope. Read those. Okay. Uh, David says we have a reservation at Bardstown for lunch in a couple of weeks. Very excited. Nice. Get the steak. Do it for it, lunch. I'm not going to lie to you. If I were you, and this sounds very indulgent and money spending, but I would figure out a way to either have an appetizer or a cocktail at the bar at Willet first. And then have your dinner at uh, Bardstown. But they just said they have a lunch reservation. Oh, a lunch. Okay, well. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> okay, well, maybe have your lunch, then go tour some places, and then go have a cocktail and an evening snack at Willet, or have dinner there. And then if, you know, you're really feeling fun, go down to Mammy's Kitchen and get a pie for dessert. If, if I were going to do it, that's how I would do it. Well... Yeah, I do feel like that Willet is more of sandwich. a lunch place it than it lunch. is a dinner place. I don't know though. It's, the I mean, Szechuan chicken. Yeah, and the, yeah. No, you can fill that up. That egg salad sandwich is fill the for sure. best egg salad sandwich. Yeah. I, I mean, it's not even egg salad sandwich. It's like on another level. But get yourself a slice at Mamie's Kitchen of the butterscotch pie and then pair it with a pour of Booker's. Mm, so good. Yeah. So what are you getting on yours? Uh, I'm mostly getting... It, it just comes off to me like a... A bourbon with an apple note, hmm. less of the brandy. Um, this one's definitely some of those like I think notes. sugary, brandy, fruity notes, but very light. Mm. Joseph Brazo wants to know how does Discovery Series One compare to two? I can't tell you that yet. We have number two, and we will uncork it soon, and then we will tell you. I'd love to do one, two, and three. That would be fun. Chad has woe face. Chad has woe confused face. I am confused. I've never had a taste like this before in, in finished whiskey. Mm. Now I get the brandy and the apples. Mmm. What is that? Switch. We go in for okay. two. I want to know what the taste was about. Um, what's a great book to learn whiskey tasting? Says Sw Swanee. Um... That's a good question. I don't think we ever had any books at the beginning when we were tasting doing Tasting specifically? Just um, like tasting. I mean, I like the whiskey, um, is it the, the whiskey Bible? 
uh, where you can take your own notes. Yeah. And, that's nice. You know, Fred Minnick's Bourbon Curious mm, is mm-hmm. a, is, I mean, that's, that's not just, um, you know, tasting. That's, but it's like, it kind of covers everything. It's sort of like, right? Sort of like your 101. Whoa. Uh, chocolate coffee wine bomb. <clears throat> Yeah, definitely, yeah. And cigar. This smells like you had the date with the wine and the chocolates, and then you had this cigar at some point. Wait till um, you drink it. <laughs> this is a lot. For sure, the cigar note. This is a lot. Tobacco Sh- leaf. Oloroso and sherry things have notoriously been a no for us, so we'll see. I can't get over how dense this nose is. Oh, yeah, this is just more oh. bourbon forward. This one. That, there is a lot. To unpack, right? So much happening. So Sarah's having this one, the it is, Spanish it's, Oloroso. It's wine and chocolates followed by a coffee and then a cigar. It's it's so much. Well, I can tell you what, this Oloroso doesn't taste anything like the Wild Turkey Master's Keep Mm-mm. Oloroso. This has a lot of punch to it. Yeah. What's the proof on this? High. 115.8. Oh. No, wait, that's bottle number 115.8. One. Wait, wait. bottle number 115.8? No, it's bottle number 1158 <laughs> okay. I, dot. And then I thought they maybe put the dot in the wrong place. Where's the proof? Oh, 100 proof. This drink's hotter Whoa. than 100 proof. If you asked me, I would have said 115. Hmm. This one is 120. Oh, I don't get that at all. You want to trade back? This one drinks so much hotter than the apple brandy. Mm-hmm. Should also say this one's non-chill filtered. This one doesn't have that distinction on it. Mm. Ooh wee. All right, bye Ashley. She has to. Bye. Thank you for joining, Ashley. Yes, she has to go. Um, okay, so now coming back to this, I do get that heat of about 120. This one drinks more like just a bourbon with some apple brandy influence. Mm-hmm. This one is uh, 100% finished. Yes, like, yes. so, so finished. Yes. So how, what did I say again? 11-year-old Indiana bourbon. It says polished in select apple brandy barrels. Now, I wonder for how long does it say in here? It may. It might. Let's do a little digging. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought I was going to sneeze. I still might. 20 months in apple. Wow. Wow. 20 months is a long time to age, to extra age. This one does not give the aging time. Mm. But it's a 12 year. It just says finished in. Uh, wow. If, I keep having ideas for <clears> like, <throat> if we were gonna be able to have nice fall parties and do fun things. We used to go to a party every fall that my best friend did call, we call it pumpkin party, but it was just like all things fall. Um, and then there was always like football to watch or something yeah. and games. It was a great time. Great time was had by all. I would definitely have this there. It's so you, you, seasonal. It's so seasonal. You guys need to experience this just for the fact that there's I've in, never in my tenure I've never had a whiskey that's putting out these flavors now let me read because I didn't before let me read their notes read it classic sherry notes of raisin and fig are balanced with bursts of candied orange and baking spice a dry complex palette of cedar and campfire Leads to a balanced finish of ripe dates with subtle spice. So I think the like dates figs is where I'm getting the wine flavors. Yeah. And then the cedar campfire, I get the campfire. is the, the is tobacco the cigar. cigar. But where is the coffee and the chocolate? Because I think they're undeniable. In oh, there. I definitely get raisins now on the nose after yeah? drinking it. Yeah. 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 Just raisin. Raisin bran. <laughs> oh, how did I not get raisin bran before? <laughs> I don't know. It's but like, there. like you said, I mean, they said raisins, but you're right. As soon as I go back to it, I'm like, raisin bran, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Whew. 
Well, uh, what bottle does Chad have? This is the Copper and Kings um, finished in Spanish Oloroso sherry casks. And I have the Copper and Kings uh, finished in Copper and Kings apple brandy barrels. Yeah, 12 year old Indiana, 11 year old Indiana, non chill filtered. Uh, which one's 100 proof? This one's. This one's 120. 120, 100. This one's finished in the brandy barrels for 20 months. This one doesn't say. I, I would think 10 years. I mean, it's finished in the barrel for 10 or, years. Or it was, you know, because sometimes they sweat it out a lot, you know. I mean, and maybe the brandy imposition on the bourbon takes longer or is less noticeable than this. Because this could be, I mean, it seems like, what was it, 18 months seems to be their wine finish regular time. Uh -huh. But Dan, wow. Danny says they just wow. monitor and they take it out when wow. it needs to be taken out. Yeah, we actually got to do a little... Tasting, fun. thieving out of, straight out of the barrel. That was so fun. To check the progress. Uh, of course, we brought the cameras along, and we'll eventually uh. have that video out there for you. What's the price? Oh. Um, yes. I cannot recall what we paid for these. Um. The sherry was uh, 140. 140. Ooh, that's a lot. But, again... This is what, I mean, it, it will go down little by little because it's very powerful. It's very powerful. This is a thinking sipper. This might actually be a literal dram. You know, I don't like using that word because a dram is like, beep, 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 and I like to be very literal. Yeah, sure. Like Chris uh, Traeger, literally. Literally and Perkins. Um, but you um, could literally have a dram of this, like after dinner. After dinner, that's what I was just thinking. And be Sit like, up by yourself. If you're a cigar smoker, puff a little cigar. I think it would pair perfectly. Well, as the holidays are nearing and people Woo! are thinking of gift ideas, this is definitely something that I think is so interesting. Like, for the person who has everything bourbon-wise, they don't, they have not tried this. Um, I don't know if they've experienced this, these flavors before. Those flavors, it's crazy. Now I'm back on mm -hmm. this one. But 140 is a lot if you're still dipping a toe in. Uh, as far as Bardstown Bourbon Company goes, mm. you can get the Discovery series is what, 120? Yes. 120? One, 120. Yeah, 120. Depending on the, the store, but sure. yeah, about 120. And that's usually about like 120 ish proof. Um, so if you're, yeah. whereas this one is 100. 100. Uh, so if you're looking for something higher proof, lower price, then there you go. Or you can always start out with the Fusion, which is I think around 50. 50. Um, 50 60, so yeah, yeah, if you like what they're doing with the Fusion, then step it on up. Wow. This is fun. I'm not gonna lie to you. We have so many bar sounds now. I'm like, when can we have a bar sound dinner? I want to do Paris. Yeah. Or if we can figure out a flight that would make sense. Oh, it'd be so fun. That would be hard. If we could get one more Copper and Kings, then we could do a flight. Oh yeah, Copper. Uh, we have three. Uh, a BBC C and K. C and K. F F flight flight. <laughs> All those. I be in. I be in. BBC C and K. F F. That's a lot of numbers and letters. Um, I don't think there was any numbers in there. All right, time to, there wasn't any numbers, you're right. I don't know what my problem is. Taste okay. and sensibility, thank you for the super chat. Says, sipping on a little Wild Turkey Masters Keep revival, but not likely y'all stuff. Congrats on 60K. <laughs> true, true. Yeah, when it comes to Oloroso, I'd rather have this guy. And what, 140, how much is the Masters Keep? For that one, I think it was like 150. So if you're looking for an Oloroso finish for a tiny bit less, I'd go with this one. I can't really remember. I know this I year it was like was 160. The, was the, I think that was this year. That was this year. Or that might have been 180. Yeah, for some reason around 150 sounds right. I would rinse this glass and drink out of it again. But we might but have to just throw it away. This <laughs> one is so powerful. <laughs> it's. You know, at first I was like, I don't know if this is for me, and I keep going back because it's so different <sighs> and it sometimes i'm like this is different in the way that i'm like i've never had this before <laughs> and mid maybe like to never have it again right that one i'm that's a good after dinner pour mm. yeah that's probably the first oloroso cask i've really really enjoyed well it didn't it wasn't just orange it wasn't it wasn't orange like yeah. they normally are sometimes i get like a and I've said this before, and it's gross, but like a burning keratin with sherry, and I don't get that with that one. Who's sherry? Mm. Hilarious. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do a triangle for taste and sensibility since I didn't, or maybe I did do, we- I don't think so. I think we did. Maybe? Who knows? I can't remember. Brian says, uh, congrats on 60K. Thank you. Thank that you triangle much. was for you as well. All right, now this one's a big one. And then we still also have two good woods that we can head to head each other and we only have 15 minutes left, which I think means maybe we'll go just a little just over. Just a little bit. You guys cool with that? Just get the knife. <laughs> I hope you guys are cool with that. Um, Glenn and Kathy want to know what is on the front of that bottle. That is a signature, signature from the from distiller. Nick Smith? Mm-hmm. Smiths? Sh Schmidt. Schmitty? We call him Schmitty. Uh, I can't tell. But yeah, that is a signature. Got this um, at the distillery we did. Uh, gift shop, so sometimes they have signed bottles. Yeah. I'm, I'm and we knew we were going to open it, but we were like, oh, well, who cares? I mean, I want the signed bottle anyway, so yeah. it'll be fun. Um, they're into the extra innings. Uh, mm. Tony says, your info is really the best with those last two. Kind of can taste it without trying it. See, that's what we're trying to do. Um, so glad that interesting. you value. Interesting. This is interesting that it's the most expensive. They start with a 10-year. Okay. Again, 10-year Indiana. And everything. Yeah, 10-year Indiana. Doesn't matter. And then they, I love how they're phrasing, they polish it. Well, to me, if you said polished, I would expect a shorter amount of time of aging. But so when I looked at the apple brandy and it said 20 months, I was like, that seems like more of a full on Let moving it in. We're we're putting it in the sink and we're letting it soak overnight. Soak <laughs> like, overnight for 18 it's months. It's not a polish. Uh, so they start with 10 year old Indiana bourbon and polish it for 18 months in muscat mistletoe barrels. Nice. That's probably not how that's pronounced, but that's uh, how I'm reading it. This complex creation was then rebarreled for an additional finish in fresh new American oak cast for an additional 19 months. So, wow. Uh, an extraordinary, one-of-a-kind, luxury spirit, exceptional, period. Exceptional, period. They're not even going to say anything else because it's exceptional, period. It's exceptional, period. I wish I could answer all the questions that are in the comments. I'm sorry. I don't not love all of you. <laughs> well, let's do it. Let's do it. Uncorking number three for live here. Now, should we tell them how Pause much this one was? for cork pop. I mean, I think that's part of our job. Sure, but this was gift shop only, double barreled. Mistel is more expensive from what and, we understand. And we also finally got out of the house, so we were kind of treating it like a vacation. It was the first time we had been out, to, so it was a very much a treat yourself kind of a day. Uh, if you watch oh, our Insta- we We're not trying this against anything. We're not. Okay. We'll do the two Copper and Kings head to head last. Yeah. Um, so we were having a Sarah and Chad's day out uh, we paid. Brace yourselves, you guys are gonna want to brace yourselves for this. Brace for impact. We paid three fifty for this. Mm. However, we got the full, full treatment. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Bardstown Bourbon Company. Oh yeah, Danny Bardstown and crew. I mean, they roll out the red carpet. It's so awesome, and we did our meetup there last fall. Like, I want. It's something that based, again, we know the quality that they put out. We trust in that. We want to give you guys the reviews. And, you know, we hadn't been out of the house in a while and we want to support them. It was like we're on vacation. We were like, on vacation. We were in treat yourself mode. And so we did. Um, and by treat ourselves, we're also treating yourselves. <sighs> I got the face again, Sarah. You got the face again. Okay. So, real quick, we got two super chats before we get into this. Jerry Black says, Congrats on 60K. Sipping on Remus Repeal Bat. Repeal Reserve 3. Ah, have not had that. Yeah. Need to have Thank that. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, and Whiskey Food Travel Reviews, who was sharing our stories right. yesterday. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. I said, congrats on the 60K. Love the channel. Thanks Thank so you much. Appreciate for the it. support. Appreciate it. I feel like Trev I... Trev wants to know if they massaged our feet and fanned us. And it, <laughs> we were one well, step away. Let's be honest. You know, it's weird that you bring that up, Trev, because the nose on this... Feels like I was gonna say I'm in a bubble. Ooh, I'm in a bubble, bubble bath. bath. I'm in a bubble <laughs> bath. And there's and that's from lavender Big mouth. <laughs> and 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 ja j uh, jasmine. Jasmine, thank you. And Jafar and oh, uh, <laughs> Aladdin. All right, you guys. Has Chad had enough? Yes and or no? I like. I'm in a spa. Like this smells like luxury. It smells like a Lincoln Navigator. I will say. I get a lot of like currant and like dark fruit notes. Big, big, wow, big, 
swing there on that nose. It's a berry. Okay. It's a dark. I could say dark berry. I should just say dark berry. Current. 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 Current is in. I've C. heard current. Is it current? Current. I don't, know. I don't know. You're asking the wrong person. I don't eat that. Caramel, caramel, <laughs> tomato, tomato, whatever. Um, don't know, but... I'm not sure, though. I don't know. It also smells very... L-E, I guess, I would Yes, say. They're, but very light. It's like a very uh, delicate L-E, limited edition. Yeah. Did now did we did you see that it said how many months? Uh, eighteen and then nineteen. So eighteen in the 18 finishing months barrel and, and then a, nineteen in a new. So there chart oak you have the price point. There you have it. Eighteen. So almost. It's what? a finished double barrel. Someone help me with the math. Thirty-eight, thirty-seven months total, 30... which is a little shy of three, four years. Help. Thirty-seven <laughs> months, right? 37 months, so yeah. a little over three years. Yeah, 48 would be four. Gosh, four. wow. That is an embarrassing math calculation on my part. Meh. A little over three years. So they, they had to get the 10-year-old bourbon, and then they had to wait three years with the cost of those additional barrels. Again, I hear you guys saying $350 is ridiculous. Yep. Totally understand you. That's why we got it, so we could tell you. But, um... Link, comment, no, sorry. Again... That's a long time when, long as time. a business to acquire the 10 year old bourbon and then hold it for that long and invest in it more. I, I just, just love how people are phonetically spelling current. 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 We have a current. We have a no. current. Current. We have a current. You guys are all phonetically spelling it differently. So I think the point though is that everyone can say it differently. So mm. I didn't say it wrong. It's um, colloquial. Unless I did. Um, Jeffrey says, I had Nick sign my bottles when I was at Bardstown. The purple label was too much for my blood, so I passed on buying that one. <laughs> I hear you. We like, debated. Look, if we didn't have a channel, it would have been too rich for our blood, too. Too rich, yeah. So, yeah. It was, we paused. We were like, mm. But then we were like, we don't know what's going to happen with releases this exactly year. Exactly. We don't know what are their chances we're going to get. La de blue, la blue. La de blue. La de blue. Yeah. Um, I think it's I I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we didn't know, so we were like, all right, well, we're not gonna pass up we're the gonna, chance. So gonna, yeah. we did it. We did it. Derek Ellis sends the goal pair cheering. Love that Ooh, pair. Thank, thank you, you, Derek. Jeff Wimbush says, smash, smash that, that like, like thumbs, thumps thumbs up. up. And Tony Bagadona says, check out Conan podcast last week. Maya Rudolph addressed that bubble bear. I know that's why it was in my brain. Just a little tips and bits for you. Oh, we got two <laughs> references there. We got some Big Mouth. We got Conan. We got Perry's uh, podcast. Mm -hmm. For so tips good. and bits. No, that's completely. I I listened to Conan O'Brien needs a friend. Thank you all for those super chats. And we'll add in. Uh, C. Oh, C. Martin. C. Martin says you guys are great. Bardstown was great for my buddy's fiftieth birthday. Took oh, took home the Discovery two and one Copper and Kings. Boom. Love it. And Todd Cooper. Wow. Give that man reading. a triangle. It's great. We're reading. Says, I haven't tasted this yet. Congratulations on reaching sixty k. This lineup is taking me back to last fall when we had dinner there, yeah, for the Here for the Booze meetup. That was our Halloween meetup. Yep. Fantastic weekend. Can't wait. Uh, uh, can't wait till we can all do that again. Cheers. Agreed, Ta Koopa and the Koopa Troopas. What just happened to me? <laughs> I know. I'm not. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now. Is there a this, cola note in there? Yes. This this thing that's happening right now is not me saying this is the best thing I've ever had. Just so you guys know, this right. is like me saying a little bit of confusion. Whoa! I've never had anything like this before. What is it, and what does that mean? You don't expect to have that happen twice in one night. It's like Dr. Pepper. <laughs> or twice in one night? Yes, twice in one night. Twice in one night. I'm saying things that are right. It's kind of like Dr. Pepper syrup. There's. It's a cola, but there's also a little bit of a savory note. So it's almost like. Uh, cola braised beef, mm, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but there's also a grapiness, so that's sort Very of like... Very grapey. But then oaky and a little smoky. I think like your cola braised beef is, is spot on, to be honest. But there's that grapey note. Yeah. It's kind of dark, jammy, like blackberry jam. Yes, yes, yes. 
Oh, I had a grilled cheese one time that had tell uh, us about your grilled that, cheese. that had some jam in it, right? Yeah, it, it was it was more of like you go and buy the fancy cheese. Oh, that sounds really good. And then um, like maybe some turkey on there. Yeah, it was some some jam in there, and it was one of the best grilled cheeses I'd ever made. I'm sort of like I don't know where cheese enters into this. It does. It would be good with cheese. But yeah, I think it was like that those combined flavors. Um, <laughs> it's reminding me of that. I like I can say what I'm tasting, but I don't know how to react yet. So did we tell you guys that this is 91.9 proof? Can you believe it? The flavor that is packed into this. I can't believe we spent that for 91 proof. Or... I didn't realize it when we did that. Oh jeez, <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. Um, so like, let's be real. If I if we were going to do the Bardstown dinner. Let's pretend like we're going to do that. Okay. I would serve this with the cheese course at the beginning. Oh, for sure. For sure. Because it is the lower, a or lower some, proof. Or some, some jam, some prosciutto. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, you know, I throw some Marcona almonds out there too. I think this would work well with, yeah, with, with nuts, with dates, with... This is... What am I drinking? I don't know. This is like... You need to access a part of your brain that you don't that access. That I don't normally go to. <laughs> this is higher level stuff you right You know, here. I really wish we had opened this one at the beginning of the episode. Right. Because I feel like now people are going to be like, oh, well, they've just had a lot to drink and they're just overreacting. Right. Um, no, I think this might get my most interesting of the year. Yes. Like, vote. This might be like most, the most, biggest head scratcher. Uh, most likely to be paired with food in like the yearbook. <laughs> this would win that, like. There's just things that need to be unlocked. You can tell by drinking this that there are other flavors that need to be unlocked. So many. That you don't, you need to level up right. before you can unlock those flavors. There's like a brief flash of a tobacco note, but then it goes straight into grape. I mean, this is like and uh, it's... one of those like weird like dreams where you're just in different moments right. so quickly and everything makes sense, but you're like, how did this happen? How did I get here? Yeah, how did I get here? Yeah. It's like Beetlejuice. How do we get back home? Right. Do you remember how we got off the bridge? <sighs> but I think the 91 proof of it is making it like super approachable. Really approachable. The price is making it really not. <laughs> no, I see. I mean, I completely agree with what you're saying. Like we've had a lot of fin We've had all finished stuff, let's be honest. And yes, this needs to be tried on a completely neutral, clean palate. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know if that other stuff is competing with it, but I think it has influenced a little bit. Maybe just so. I mean, we can be honest. Now I'm not saying like influencing the exceptionality of it. I'm just saying maybe some of the flavors. Yeah, yeah. for sure. No, this definitely deserves another visit. Yeah. Um, especially, it will get another visit based on what we paid for it. <laughs> oh my yes. It We're going to do this for every yes. live from here on out. Say until hello it's gone. to your new best friend. <laughs> um, uh, Kirk excellently pointed out. That uh, we need, to, this is a neck pour, and we need to let it sit and give it another shot. No, absolutely. And you're totally right. We will do that. Yep. Uh, Derek with the super chat. Uh, saying, <laughs> Sipping on Sarah's inspired Southern Old Fashioned. Well done. Now, Wild Turkey Masters keep revival straight. Lovely. And that is also for Jeff for the $3 super chat. And yes, Jerry sir. for yes. the $10 super chat with the... Oh, I haven't seen that one before. Is it a hippo? Yeah, he I'm fell out of his chair. Wrecked. Wrecked. <laughs> I'm going to stand up. I think you should. Um, while you're up, I would go ahead and grab another glass for me, at least. Well, no, I can use this one. Dang, I'm gonna hang on to the rest of this though. Hey, we have glasses. Mm, okay. We got them right here. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna hang on to the rest of this Mistel uh, Copper and Kings because it is. Yeah. Hearty. <laughs> I'm gonna let that be over here. So we got someone, uh, I, I'm not, not going to read that name because it's a series of numbers and letters, but mostly letters, that says hate flavored whiskey. Totally agree with you. I hate flavored whiskey. This is finished, finished so different. different. Still, the flavors of the barrels imparted on the whiskey, so technically it has been flavored, um, but it's not for everybody. Correct. Uh, or how, how do they say polished? Polished. This is polished whiskey. This is polished whiskey. Polished whiskey. <laughs> Sounds like a kind of a dick thing to say. This is polished. <laughs> yes. Um, 
We don't finish whiskey. We polish it. Kirk says, are you guys tasting the Chateau? No, we don't have that one. So depressing. All right, let's put this one away. Okay. Another day. Yes. And let's grab these two good woods. Good woods. So we've got the walnut, uh, black walnut, and then... Brown ale. So the brown ale, uh, if you are patrons... Yes, this is the, I think, black walnut... No, no just, wa ale. just walnut brown ale. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you are patrons, you heard us do a podcast, the Drink More Brewing podcast, where we uh, drank this one. Um, but you, we but have not this done this one elsewhere. This one is new, and it is a Brandy Barrel Honey Ale cask, another good wood. So we will try these two good woods versus each other. Why not? Is this one from Drew? Is it? Or is my tag lying to me? It says from Drew Boland to 820. Uh, I don't know. But it also has a Justin. St oh. Oh, yes. Drew bought it for us. Right. True. It's a fuzzy day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Todd, yeah. you know. That that works out. That works out. <laughs> that check, math checks out. Yep. On that one. Well, Drew. Mm. I don't think Drew's in the chat right now, but I know he'll be watching the replay. Thank you, Drew. Uh, woo Drew. On this cork pop here. This cork pop's for Drew. Nice. Lovely. Nice one. All right, so I will pour the <laughs> walnut brown terrible ale. terrible that we forgot. <laughs> that we forgot that day? I think it's, I think that somehow, somehow, uh, Todd and Tony and Drew will all understand. Yeah, it's true. What happened. Crazy day. Sometimes when you drink, you forget things. <laughs> Thank God for my tag system. Yeah, I would not. I'm not going to lie. I, um, yeah. All right. Okay, so, so again, honey, honey, what is it? Brown. It. No, that's yours. This is the Brandy Barrel Honey Ale Cask. And it is what proof? It is... Written, so it's hard to see. It is 110.10. I can't I read think. upside down. 110.10 is okay. what I'm going with. Mine is, again, the Walnut Brown Ale. This is 103.2. And ours are both, it looks like dis this one's distilled in Tennessee. Uh, this one's Indiana, actually. Oh. Yeah, so. This collaborative series uh, with Goodwood Brewing Company started with exceptional 11-year-old Indiana bourbon and then finished in Goodwood Brewing Brandy Barrel Honey Ale casks for 18 months. The result? Question mark? A rich bourbon accentuated... I, I, whoever writes these is great. Yeah. Can by, you write my bio? By layers of honey, caramel, fig, malt, mm, and dried fruit. A nuance. Good. Subtle. Finished a finely crafted ale enhances this one of a kind pour. All right. Okay, so mine is mine started with an exceptional nine year old Tennessee bourbon, then finished in Goodwood Brewing uh, Company's brown, walnut brown ale cask for 18 months. The result? The result? <laughs> a layered com complex medley of walnut, toffee, oak, biscuit, and malt. A Ooh. nuanced, subtle finish of finely crafted ale enhances this one of a kind pour. They well, both these sound are delicious. both one of a kind pours. They're both one of a kind, but they're also finished in different things. So, yeah, well, yeah. okay, so we got an Indiana versus a Tennessee. Yours is a little older. Fight, fight, fight. Finish him. Finish him. <laughs> Sub Zero wins. Love Mortal Kombat. Mm, I definitely get the walnut and the Ooh, toffee. Ooh, sweet. I get like um, uh, a covered like honey bun. Like mm. with the the uh, glaze. glaze, thank you. Mm. Okay, see on this one. Now that I know it's Tennessee, I can still pick that flavor out. But it's again really blended well. Like Ooh. I, I re like this is my favorite way I've had Tennessee. Dickle, let's be honest, it's my favorite Sweet. way. Yeah, one hundred three point two. Okay, it's pretty sturdy. <laughs> see, this one's handwritten. That one's typed. Yeah, 110.10. 55.05. Yeah, that checks out. Yeah. Checks out. That's sure, what it is. Sure. Wow. Okay, this one's more of a bourbon, like at the forefront. And there is definitely a honey 
influence, but not like a flavored whiskey honey. You know, mm-hmm. this isn't mm-hmm. American honey or anything. Um, yeah. Okay, trade me. Switch. Again, these are both collabs with Goodwood Brewing Company, because. which is in Kentucky. Yeah. Get over here. Oh my gosh. I remember my brother used to play that when I was little and I loved Reagan it. Wings. But it was scary. Oh, I love the fatality. So, so wonderfully gross. I mean, I was like, you know, he was like 15 or 16 and I was, you know, five or six. So it was a little scary for me. <laughs> but I also liked it. I was like, can we play again? But I'm scared. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I remember. Was Raiden the guy uh, with the, the electric, uh, the yeah. lightning? Electric, yeah. yeah. He's the one who scared me. Everyone else, cool with. Not Goro, the guy with four arms. No, that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Better for fighting. Uh, but what? Why are your eyes glowing and the electricity? Like or I don't. Sub Zero with like you know turning you to ice and then shattering ice. No. Or Scorpion with reptile. No. 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 Nope. The whoosh, get nope. over here. No. Nope. I remember on Sega. Just the lightning was terrifying to me. <laughs> Sega and Nintendo. Um, he said, Ooh. "Get over here" on one of them, and another one he said. Oh no, I just had it. I get, don't know. Get over here. Come here. Come here, I think was the other one, right? Internet, right? Scott. Scott Pigsley, uh, thoughts on Woodenville Portcast finished bourbon? I'm both impressed and unimpressed at the same time. I'm, I'm in a, in a glass, glass case. case of emotion here. He's in a glass case of emotion. Bark twice if you're in Cleveland. Um, I don't like port that much, but I really like Woodenville. I prefer their that apple. I like their port cask more than other places. Port. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but yeah. port's just not port and sherry for me are just are just iffy. Um, yeah. Can't give you more. Cabernet than that. is more like okay, we're gonna be okay. Yeah. We're Usually. Gonna be good. Usually. Um, and then David, thank you also for that super chat. Thank you. Yeah, this definitely more um, uh, walnut. Yeah, you can you can totally smell it. David. Who sent the samples? Want his? He said his wife wants David. to know what kind of blush I'm wearing. That's a great question. I think my blush is from Sephora, but I have the Fenty uh, uh, highlighter, so I don't know if that helps. Me, I'm wearing. What are you wearing tonight, Chad? Um, <laughs> it's a Sephora. I think it's a Sephora like two tone blush. Maybe I'm born with it, or maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. Yeah, I don't know. This is the makeup is Tennessee. fun, Chad. It's what we have. It's like painting, but for fun oh, okay. for your face. It's like paint by numbers. Tennessee? This is Tennessee. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. I, I get it. Now I, get I it. have this one. I get it. You that get it, but it's good, right? They they are like zoning in on what makes that dickle dickle, and they're like, how can we complement it? Let's do a walnut. So you get yeah, it like totally makes sense. And I agree. This is the best. Mm. This one just Dickle. has such a good honey nose to it. Doug slash taste and sensibility. If you're still in the chat, this one might be worth you getting some. This is the Goodwood uh, honey um, brandy barrels. Yes, yes. The nose on this is just honey. Yeah. Um, Caitlin says, Sarah, where did you learn how to do your eyeshadow? Okay, <laughs> no, it's now it's amazing. turned into a... That's sweet. <laughs> uh, now this is a makeup tutorial. No, I think like whenever I was a teenager, I saw one of those inserts on the eyeshadow things that were like, you do this here, A, B here, C here, D here. And I was like, oh, this makes sense, but I'm just going to do it my way. And I don't know. I've never really like, since then, I've just been kind of doing it. I don't know. It's all about the palette that you have. So. Are you a winter, a mm, autumn, a Oh, fall? I'm definitely like an autumn winter. Autumn winter. Yeah, for sure. Okay. I have the, what's it called again? I forget what it's called. I don't know. Uh, it's like an old Hollywood palette by Anastasia. That's the best one you can get. You got to spend the money on it if that's what you want. You got to spend the money. It's like 50 or 60 bucks, but it'll you heard last it. you. You heard it here I get first. compliments on it like every day, so. <laughs> heard you that. heard it here first. Yeah. What's it called, though? It's not like old Hollywood, but it's something like that. We have had Treaty Oak. Yeah. Out in that's Austin. makeup talk. What kind of toner are you using, Chad? I just use a base. What um, kind of base? Do you use some sunscreen? Yeah, sure. He uses just some, some Lubriderm. <laughs> Lubriderm. <laughs> uh, C- Cetaphil. That's lotion. Sure. That's lotion. I don't know. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Whoa. Doug is still in the chat. That is boozy honey. 110, boozy honey. But not, again, not like a flavored. No, not, not flavored. Not like a honey, just not a like a nice, hot toddy or anything. No, just a nice, it's bourbon, but with very forward honey notes. Yes. Very tasty. Yes. Agreed. I like this. See, I'm really happy because I'm not going to say that I didn't enjoy last week's live, but I think there were some things that I was like excited to open, but every time I that was wasn't our as... non Kentucky right right yeah we did some I think we did which it rise. turned out to be we did most non Kentucky rise or was that the week before I don't remember no two weeks ago was the non Kentucky and then last week was just rise but there some of the things were like good but not as you know I'm spoiled I think we started off with I'm the spoiled. best I think actually that ten cup was surprising considering the price. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was pretty decent. Agreed, agreed. But like now, back to stuff. Now this, we're at that. Yeah, I'm like, we're nom, at a nom, different nom, level, nom, nom, nom. different price level. I like it here for sure. But does it have electrolytes? Uh, well, mine does. Yes. <laughs> you want to trade back? Mm-hmm. Okay. Shoot. 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 Shoop. 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 Which apparently. Have you listened to that part on Fake Doctor's Real Friends? No, not yet. About I'm two shoop... episodes behind. I mean, I didn't realize Salt and Pepper were talking about dirty stuff when they were doing Shoop. I mean, you didn't pick up on that from, like, the other songs? Like, like oh. Push It? Oh, well. You know, I no, it, I that? was more of a ancillary, like, you know, I never really sat down and mm. listened to their discography <laughs> hmm. to unpack it all. Thank you, Trev. Mm. Yes to this. Out of these two. And Best Tennessee. Best Tennessee. Best Dickel, sorry. Best or Dickel. Best Dickel. Uh, I do really like the flavors in this one, but I am very, very fond of the honey in this one. So between the two Goodwoods, I got to go with the, uh, the honey. Honey, Brandy. honey is just a good flavor to go with whiskey. It's so good. You know, you have a hot toddy. I think that's why when we were doing the flavored whiskey Jim Beam box, I think the honey one was like maybe the least objectionable. Just because honey and bourbon they go really well mm -hmm. together. Yeah. Honey and just about anything go really well together. Chicken fingers. Uh, I can do it. John wants to know when are the rocks glasses coming back in stock. I think we might have a. You, but I think they are all, all sold out. They're all sold out, but we just ordered some more, so coming soon. Yes. Um, they should be here, and we're ordering like way more this time. Yes. Cause last time we always think, oh, if we double it, it'll be enough, and then we double it, and then we're like, okay, but if we double that, then <laughs> maybe it'll be enough. The um, double has been doubled. We're doubling the double to get us through Christmas and then into next year. Yeah, so. we're trying to order for like, the let's future. see if this will last us a year. Sure, sure. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I do like this uh, walnut brown finish, but, mm -hmm. but this one. Yeah. Now this one, I feel like when we had this solo, you know, on the, on the podcast, I, I really enjoyed it. I think it's, and that's the thing about finished or polished products is you know you start putting them together this is why a fly fight might be like trouble for us mm -hmm. you're talking about some really distinctive personalities going up against each other it's like the real world for finished uh whiskeys sure you know what happens when they all stop being nice and <laughs> start finished being finished whiskeys be, start <laughs> being real one house um but trying this by itself i appreciated it a lot more than trying it up against this wonderful, wonderful honey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. It is very, very yeah. delicious. Okay, so I have a question. Uh, What's your question? Wait, Todd Cooper says, Joseph Brazo, we're going to surprise Chad and Sarah at their house for a bourbon, a fall bourbon festival. See, Chad and Sarah's fall ball. Shh, you, don't tell them. You can't put that in the chat. <laughs> I mean, we do have enough driveway space for everyone to be outside. There you go. That's my only concern. Stay, stay away. <laughs> Get back. Right. That's the thing with drinking. I've been at one drinking event where everyone, after two drinks, was just like, nah. and I'm yeah. like, I don't know you. 
People are like trading masks. It's terrible. It's just not that it. knowing someone it makes anything any different. It no. doesn't. But no. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Anywho, uh, fall ball sounds so fun. If I mean, let's chat about fall ball. It'll be like fall mini. Fall bourbon ball. Fall bourbon ball. Did and we get Tim? Oh, we didn't get Tim. Tim Plummer, thank you. Thank you, Tim. The super chat. Appreciate it. We could get a bouncy house. That'd be fun. Um, someone would break leg, but it's fall cool. bourbon ball with bourbon balls. <sighs> yeah, Swan would make the bourbon balls. Swan um, makes great bourbon balls. Let's see. Uh, Brian and Tammy had to leave because their daughter called from college. Totally get that. You got to hear the college updates. Yes. They just went back. Yes. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we drank everything, right? We drank. Well, Actually, we didn't drink everything. Wasn't but, expecting that. And it's only nine fifteen, so yeah, there we you go. have gone on the whole time. We have, we have, and more. Uh, right. So, Shredar, um, thank you. Hey, thank you much. Do Keep it little... up, pair. I was right doing there. those on Friday. Them curls. Like we said, we got the the new Bolt T, the uh, Thirst Mutilator shirt, uh, two point new and improved. And Back in stock, sizes small through 4X, and... And, you guys, Bourbon Heritage Month is in a few days, and, and by that I mean like eight, um, and, you know, maybe we have a new super secret t-shirt design ready to drop on September 1st for Bourbon Heritage Month. I don't know. I mean, if you were watching our Instagram live last night, you saw a, a quick little... I mean, you a little would, snippet. You, a little you would know the peek. color of it, but that's all. That's it. That's all you would know. Because they were folded. Um, yeah. And yeah, Adriana called it. You can tell the alienist is over because we were not out of here. Right. At nine. The alienist. That's true. We have nothing left. We have nothing to watch on at nine. I mean, TNT knows drama, but I just don't know any other drama right now. That I we're didn't really... like Snowpiercer. The movie was way better. Was yeah. not a fan. No, we still haven't. Jennifer Connelly, it. excellent. The everyone guy. else, everyone else was. The guy from Hamilton, he seemed a little awkward sometimes. I think it was his eyes. He had dead eyes? Well, he had th theater eyes, maybe. Theater eyes. No, that I would be know. overcompensating because he's trying know. to reach the back of the room. The, the back. I don't know. Maybe it's just, it's just that Jennifer Connelly is such a seasoned actress. I don't think that was it. I don't know. You don't think so? Okay. No, no, no. I'm not saying she's not a seasoned actress. Mm. I'm saying that's not the reason why this guy was. Maybe it was the directing. Could have been the directing. Could have been the directing. Anyways. That's my thoughts on Snowpiercer. <laughs> Great movie. They're coming out with a second season. Mm, well, maybe they'll watch. correct course. Cor maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Watch the movie. Just watch the movie. I mean, I guess we have to finish it. I guess. Yeah. I guess we'll go watch that. <laughs> uh, but Trev Wilson, Captain Trev Wilson, the wrench. Captain Trev the wrench Wilson. However you want to uh, do it. That's too many nicknames. Just put uh, our Whiskey Ambitions link there. That's where this... Actually, our new Drink More Bourbon, we call it the Bold uh, Edition. Um, it's uh, gold on... Uh, not, like a charcoal. Not black, but charcoal. Um, it's it's not as like distressed as our as red vintage. one. That is only like a week old. This is brand new. And then in Bourbon Heritage Month, we're going to drop another, another one. Another one. Another one. What have we... What, how have we been doing this? How I don't are we even doing know. This? I, don't I know. don't even know. And then, of course, we'll have all the glassware restocked here soon, hopefully. Coming soon. And then, um, boom. More things are more, in the works. More things. And I really mean it. More things. Yeah, we do. But, okay. That's enough now. Cool. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining. Uh... And I guess we'll see you on Friday for our produced episode and then next Sunday for another live. But until then, yeah. drink more of these finished things. Finished? Polished? Drink more Barstown Company. Drink more Company. polished whiskey. Yeah, do it. All right, see you guys.